Well, yes, we did uh, attempt to get across to the Director General of Kaduna Geographic Information Service, uh, Mr. Ibrahim Hussein, who you heard there or saw a reading from the script. We wanted him to shed some more light on what transpired, but uh, at the moment, they've not, he has not heeded that call as of yet. But let's go ahead and sink our teeth into this one, and we're going to go over to Abuja. Okay. Well, thank you, Chamberlain. Joining us now is Suleiman Abdulkwari, who is the Commissioner for Finance in Kaduna State, and also former Chairman of Sabongeri Local Government Area, and also a former member of the House of Representatives. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you, Magbe, and uh, thank you, our jury. Welcome. Are it's you still currently here. the Commissioner for Finance? I, I am. Okay, just okay. confirming that. Yes. Now, I'm just a little curious. For a lot of observers, they have seen, I mean, you heard our report there, our reporter uh, detailing how this seems to be fitting into the narrative of mm -hmm. politics. And even though the Kaduna State uh, Geographical Information Service has come out to say, well, because they did not pay ground rent for the past how many years, uh, we moved in to demolish. For a lot of observers, this smacks of nothing but political intolerance. Well, uh, it's actually very difficult to disassociate what is happening with uh, politics. But truth is, we have institutions that are mandated to cover some specific aspects of our day-to-day -day life. And one of these institutions is the Kaduna uh, State Urban Devel Planning and Development Agency, KASUBDA, mm -hmm. which is mandated to ensure orderliness, to ensure uh, that uh, you know, all the land use requirements are properly observed by the land users or allotees in this case. And uh, this is actually a way of executing the mandate of the agency. So it is uh, towards this that uh, jobs recently such as uh, you know, keep maintaining orderliness and ensuring that uh, whatever land is allocated, the allottee you know, develop such land within the allowed limits of development. And all land uh, allocations are tied to specifics, uh, specific ways of executing the, the construction, specific uh, requirements in terms of what one should be doing to ensure that land that is allotted to him remains his own, which includes the payment of ground rent or the land use charge. So it is, uh, it is not to say that it, uh, politics is purely what has led to this situation. We have uh, been, the agency specifically, has been, you know, uh, from time to time since 2016, been going through the streets to ensure that at least how can is reduced to the barest minimum because this is uh, a very good situation. Can, 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 yeah. Just one minute. Mm. You say that this is all part of a larger policy. Yes. Can you give us another house that was demolished within this same week due in or same, owing to that policy? In the same constituency mm. that the said senator, you know, uh, there were a, a demolitions recently to ensure that a road that is being constructed uh, in Zaria, to be specific, uh, PZ area, which is a very popular area in Zaria, and that is where the senator represents. Recently, there was also the uh, demolition. Why is that, recently? That, uh, recently, yeah, How as, many days as ago? recent as uh, 30 days. Okay. You know, and, and, and it was actually agreed that uh, they have done well, this same agency, and it was discussed in council. I was the one that raised it, that it was uh, fantastic doing what they did, and that this should be extended to other areas. C Commissioner, and it could be just an, uh, a coincidence. Yes. Uh, Commissioner, when we, when we look at these kinds of actions historically across the states, 
what you generally see is even in the FCT is uh, when when you demolish a property usually it's because in a residential neighborhood there's somebody using a, 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 a what is supposed to be a residence for maybe a business or something like that go, 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 go. and even generally before you get to the point of demolition there are a series of warnings that take place there's due process that takes place now in this case sir we know that this house was demolished without much of any pri uh, prior warning, number one. And number two, this was a house in a residential area. So now the question is, if in the press statement, uh, you know, you, you cited that, look, this is going to become a park, essentially. You're just going to demolish it and make it a park and revoke the license from, from, whoever, from the man who owns it. Is that not a clear case of, 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 of abuse of power? Not at all. Because uh, the purpose for land use is known. And at the time of allocation of this land, it was uh, requested for residential development. And all of a sudden, it has become something else. And uh, it is within the agency's purview to review from time to time you know, the purpose for which land was allocated. What is that something else? What is the something else you're referring to? Well, uh, it, it, it is definitely not a residential uh, property anymore because the, the, it has been turned into uh, maybe a, a party office that uh, recently uh, was uh, converted into a party office. And I think uh, what the, the report that got to the agency was also that uh, some miscreants were going all over the place and uh, harassing neighbors and uh, not allowing free flow of traffic. Commissioner, isn't there a difference though between a residential property where people sleep, where they hold political meetings, and a property that is defined as a political headquarters of, of a particular political party though? Was it registered as such or was it not registered as a residential property where people sleep? Because the senator actually said that gov the governor himself used to sleep in that property when they were on better terms. No, no. Uh, he never slept there. The governor, definitely, before he became governor, owns a house in Kaduna, and uh, owns a house in Kaduna, and he, that's where he lives. He has never slept there. 